Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Women S World Cup, Australia beat Ireland as hosts New Zealand beat Norway, Australia v Ireland, 1-0 co-hosts Australia held a narrow 1-0 win over the Republic of Ireland at the Australia Stadium in Sydney on Thursday afternoon, Australia, who have emerged as one of the tournament favourites, have ended their World Cup season, they had made a strong start in front of a record-breaking crowd of around 83,000. The Matildas, however, were dealt a serious blow, when star captain Sam Kerr pulled out of the game against the Republic of Ireland, with a calf injury, just an hour before kick-off. Their teammates had hoped that they could rely on their keen eye for goal, with Canada and Nigeria forming the group of death. Australia head coach Tony Gustafsson said after his sight's narrow victory, we knew this game was going to be tough, all the teams here will fight, anyone can beat anyone in this tournament, we knew set pieces would play a big role, and I have to thank the team for how they dealt with all those set pieces in the final stages, they are one of the best teams at attacking set pieces, and we got through that, New Zealand v Norway, 1-0 New Zealand got off to a brilliant start on the first day of the FIFA Women's World Cup, with a 1-0 win over Norway at the Eden Park in Auckland. A goal from Hannah Wilkinson in the 48th minute was enough to save New Zealand's Rhea Percival missed a chance to extend her side's lead late on, when she converted a penalty in the 88th minute. Hege Rias S. Norway was looking to pull away from a bitterly disappointing European Championship recovered in 2022 after being beaten 8-0 by tournament winners England in the group stage. Norway were the first European team to get their hands on the 1995 Women's World Cup in Sweden, the second edition of the competition, after a 2-0 win over Germany at Rosunda Stadion.